Hi, I'm Scott Humphreys at Caliva Process Solutions and today we're going to be talking about the consistency test using the mixer torque rheometer. This is a simple test where you take a sample of pre-granulated product, put it in the mixer bowl and it measures the torque. Now this can be useful if you've got say an eight hour shift running and you want to take a sample from your production granulator once every hour for the eight hours. You can then measure the samples and compare the torque readings between all eight. Otherwise you may have two or three production lines running the same product and you can take samples from each one of those and compare the torque readings so you know that your granulation is consistent across the lines. So to start our consistency experiment the first thing is to create a method. So we click on create method then the type of method is consistency and then we choose a template to use for our experiment. We go for that one, click on continue, and then we can choose a name for our particular method here. And then we've got a description of the method, you can put the material type, batch codes, lab references, motor speed, all these can be changed. And then the actual ingredients of our experiment if you like so we've got how long to mix and measure the empty bowl then a 15 gram sample is the size we're going to be using and then we're going to mix that for 30 seconds and then log the torque for 30 seconds so it's literally a simple measurement so we create the measure method there So to use this method, we go to view method, select the method type, which is consistency, then consist1 is the one we've just created, click continue to load it, and you can see the data we've just put in is populated in the windows. There's also a modify method button here that if you want to change anything you can do it now. So we then click on start experiment to use the method. So we give the experiment a name. And you can see the material batch code and lab reference have been brought across from the method. And then there's a text window for a description of the experiment if you want to use that. And then we can add the operator's name as well, which makes it uh, easy to trace the results afterwards. So we're ready to go. So we click on Start Experiment. and now the machine prompts us to measure the empty bowl. So we click on OK and the machine then starts to measure the empty bowl. This takes away the need to calibrate the machine regularly as it starts with a zero point every time you run an experiment. Now we can see here that it's measured the empty bowl and the machine now asks us to load our 15 gram sample. So we remove the lid and we can see our pre-granulated sample being added to the mixer bowl here. So we replace the lid and the safety cover. And then we click OK. So the machine now mixes the granulated sample and logs the torque. We're all done, so we click continue and that saves the data we've just measured. And the next stage is to go and have a look at the results. So we've got individual experiments there. Obviously we've only just measured one sample, so we'll just have one torque reading. So we select consistency, today's date, and then we'll get a list of the consistency experiments we've done today, which will probably be just the one, yeah. So we get the results, and then we just have a simple table produced where we get the torque measurement of the empty bowl, the torque measurement of the wet sample that we added, and then the difference then we can 
print the report as a PDF or export the information out into Excel. So now we've exported this information into an Excel document. We've detailed an eight hour shift with samples taken once every hour. We can then plot these onto a graph and see the consistency over the entire shift. You can see on hour number five, the fifth sample, the torque reading has dropped slightly compared with the rest of the shift. This could indicate that there wasn't enough liquid binder added or the mixture wasn't actually mixed for long enough in this period, so therefore creating an inconsistency over the course of the shift. We hope you found this video interesting and informative. For more information please visit caliva.com. If you have any specific questions please feel free to email us on info at Thank you.